This is video number three of the LED strip light project. If you've not seen video one or two, I cover selecting uh, the proper LED strip light as well as different power and control options. And in part three here, I'm discussing mounting options. Now most of these LED strip lights, if not all of them, do come with an adhesive backing. And you can see that here. The problem is, this backing may or may not be sufficient. Now this one, for example, the adhesive backing, the cover is starting to separate, which means just setting around, this is going to get dirt in it, and it's just not going to seal very well. Now, in itself, the adhesive backing actually is not a bad idea, but you got to remember, you're driving down the road at 50, 60 miles an hour and especially with a headwind or something, I mean, you're going to really, you know, have some uh, forces to contend with. The only thing that I would trust would be this type of tape here. This is a 3M brand VHB. VHB stands for very high bond. And in fact, I've read some articles about this stuff. And in hurricane areas such as Florida, they've experimented with using this on signposts and things. And they actually hold the signs on better in hurricane conditions than uh, metal hardware. So this stuff is excellent, excellent stuff. Now the only problem is if you want to use this you're going to have a hard time removing uh, the original backing to put this on. And I would certainly want to remove this if I was going to use this because you know if you just add this together then the integrity may, need, may be no better than what you have on here. Now some of these LED strips have advertised that they use VHB but when I get them in you know we'll get something like this that doesn't say anything and if it does not have this little logo here I would not trust it. So that's one option you can use VHB to uh, put the strip on the side of your coach. Now another mounting option that I like are these strips. This one here is an aluminum strip and they come in about one meter length so and you can buy as many as you need. And this one is a 45 degree angle. So essentially uh, you would mount this so that the uh, LEDs would be pointing at a 45 degree angle down. Now these strips do have a removable uh, plastic cover so essentially you would mount a strip on your coach and you could use you know again you could use 3M VHB on this or you could use screws in through uh, and, and I know a lot of people don't like to put screws in their, in their boats and RVs and stuff but you know that's something you almost have to get over with if you're going to do a project like this. Uh, or you can use a sealant, an adhesive sealant, like a 3M uh, 4200 or 5200. And then use the uh, adhesive back in here to put this in here. And then snap this back over it. Now since these come in sections, these really aren't waterproof to the outside elements. But these are going to be waterproof as long as you buy uh, one that has an IP rating of 64 or better. And so it really doesn't need to be waterproof. All it really needs to be is a, a good mounting method. So that's another option. You can use these. You can get the, the square ones. Uh, they're just like this corner ones, but they're just flat. And then so, you know, the angle of your uh, LEDs will be a little bit different. And again, put these in here and then use the backing that it comes with to hold them down. Now the one issue with this they work really well for these style that have the epoxy covering. The style like this one that has the, it's encased in a tube, you may not be able to fit them in here. And finally we have a plastic one. This plastic one actually came in a kit along with this monochrome strip. And it's designed for these other style that have the little, little plastic tube in them. And this does not have a cover on it like these two do. And this is made out of plastic where these are made out of aluminum. But it'll still work. And in fact, the interesting thing is if you turn it over, it already has a strip of VHB tape on it. If you want an all-in-one solution and don't have to buy a bunch of stuff separately, 
and I'm going to put a, a link on my website for this. This kit is about $54 for 16 feet and, and it includes uh, a 3528 monochrome strip and you can get it in white or blue or any of the primary colors and also a sufficient number of strips to span the uh, distance that this uh, light strip has. And so this may be, for most people, the best solution. Now when you want to dress the, the ends off <clears throat> with this type of strip, you can buy these little end caps and you can buy them with a hole in them or you can buy them without a hole in them and, and simply what they do is they just fit in the end here like that. Again, it's not going to be waterproof, but it's going to dress it off. If you buy the one with a hole in the end, you can sneak your wire through like that. Your wire would exit the side here. Well, hopefully, when you put these LED strips up, at one end or the other, you're going to be able to drill through your coach and go into an inside cabinet so you can do the internal wiring without any of it showing. If that's the case, one option is just to drill a hole through here, use an end cap like this, snake your wire in there, and you won't even see any wire coming out of the strip at all. And you can dress it off a little bit with a little bit of sealing in here. A couple other options, and this is from the boating world. This is from uh, West Marine, which they sell a lot of boating supplies. And it's called a mini clamshell vent. And this is the small one. It's just a little cover and it's made out of stainless so it's not going to rust. And so what you can do with these is once you put your uh, strip up, you can cover the strip actually on both ends like this and that will help anchor the strip down. Now what I would recommend is if you do use this and you sneak your wire through and in, then take some sealant and dab around here so that you have a nice little glob of sealant in here. And uh, finally, uh, another option is like this cable clam. And again, Blue Sea Systems, it's a uh, marine supplier for the boating industry. This is a little bit larger and it may be look a little bit too big for you, for your application, but you know, it might work for some people. Now the only issue with this one is you got to drill about, it looks like about an inch and a half hole through your sidewall. And then on the outside, what you have is you have this, and it has some hardware in here that these four screws that you can, uh, you know, have a nice little flush fitting puck. The way you would interface it with one of these is you'd have this like that. So, I mean, it's fairly attractive. You know, you're going to run these things under your awning probably, so you may or may not have room for something like this under your awning. You can also use these, say, on the top of your coach. So if you need to run, say, a coax for a satellite antenna or, or you have some solar panels or whatever and you have connectors on them, you can run that through here and make a nice little flush puck on the top with a cable going through. One of the things I found when I've gone through uh, this project is there are just tons of different options available and parts and pieces. And if you go on Amazon or eBay or any of those things, just do a search on terms like Super Night or LED Strip Light or any of those kind of terms, uh, SMD 5050, just look that stuff up and you'll just find tons of stuff. 